Observe the quality of modern women. Are you single or in a relationship? Um, <laughs> I'm not going to answer that one. You want to get in there? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to answer. Yeah, are you single? Boyfriend steps forward. Uh, what'd you just say, babe? <laughs> I'm a simp, but anyway. Single in a relationship. I'm a relationship. Her? No, we're not. What I want you to look at is the psychopathic smile of the girl. This is this is disturbing stuff. Y'all aren't together. <laughs> She's pushing him away. Guys, she doesn't ever frown. She doesn't even stop smiling. She just keeps this blank smile on her face. What? Yeah. That's what she said. Okay, anyways, let's keep him out. Uh, anyway, let's let's move past me being held accountable and having to uh, interface with reality. Whoa, that, that was that was difficult. <laughs> I just ran into reality there. That was really painful. I've practiced not doing that for a long time. Bye-bye. This guy's Whoa, she just said bye-bye to her boyfriend of six months. Snapchat fucking famous. Keep going, keep going. Uh -uh. Yeah, you know how it is. Like you always see these like sad ass. You always feel bad for him. Chicks. They say for like six months we're in a relationship and then they say on camera they're not. I I always feel bad for those guys. It looks like I was one. Bro, obviously, break up with this uh, with this freak. She's a psychopath. But women aren't born psychopaths like this. Psychopathic people in the population tend to be men. But feminism induces psychopathology into women when it says reality is not only unimportant, but reality is oppression. Therefore, since women are told to resist oppression at all costs, especially by the modern culture, they by default operate in opposition to the truth, in opposition to reality, because engaging in reality, that's oppression. And so what you get is essentially induced psychopathology, which is rampant. And it's not like it's just 10% of the population or even 20%. At this point, minimum 50% of the female population in my generation, if not higher, because it's being programmed in at such a deep level in school that everything is a power disparity, a dichotomy, and there's only victims and victimizers, that women are taught that everything is subordinate to the ideology which rectifies that, which is Marxist resentment, which is virtue based on victimhood. Because if you're victimized, if you're a victim, you're automatically a good person. This is the rampant ideology. And it's a psychopathic ideology because it commands that the coherent way of viewing the world based on logic, reason, rationality, which exposes the fact that there's way more than just power disparities be rejected. It commands that that entire coherent analysis be rejected and replaced with the ideology. And there's nothing more psychopathic than believing that reality be subordinate be less important than truth, than objective truth. That's gonna get you some views. That's some real ass shit you fucking know, boss. Thank you. All right. All right. Dude, look at how blank her expression is. Just staring at the guy, which she essentially just ended a relationship with for views on Snapchat, according to her. It looks like I was one. She's still smiling. That's gonna get you some views. That's some real ass shit you fucking know, boss. Dude, it's like a lobotomized like robot or something it's like a robot that's just been programmed with aha i'm a victim no matter what aha ha. i did something immoral but i don't have to take accountability for it because my ideology says so guys that's the definition of psychopathy is believing you don't have to engage in morality because it's objective and because anything objective is oppression that's dangerous this is dangerous this is the reason why i'm talking about this even though you know it will get you called names or whatever it doesn't matter because this is dangerous look at look at the fact that she doesn't stop smiling while essentially just being completely evil yeah. I'm in a relationship. Her? No, we're not. Y'all aren't together? <laughs> that was like, what? what? Yeah. That's what she uh, said. What? Bro. Uh, okay, anyways, let's keep him <laughs> uh, Anyways, I was just broken up with. Let's um let's keep moving because that's objective reality. These women are going to buy cats. I don't think you guys fully understand the severity of what's happening. 50% of women are going to be single and childless by the year 2030. For the entire history of the planet, 99% of women have reproduced and had kids. But all of a sudden, 2024, oh my gosh, yeah, the, my empowering ideology has told me to literally end my bloodline. So yeah, anyway, I'm empowered twerking for TikTok. It is a battle of good versus evil. Be sure to subscribe to the channel.